Hugh. We need to talk. I saw trash can Carla putting her her hand on your shoulder yesterday. You haven't told her about us, have you? You haven't told her that I'm your little robot fudge hole, have you? I feel like like you, you just treat me like I'm a walking fleshlight. Just because I failed the last 23 terminals you've asked me to hack. I'm your soulmate. You better tell her I'm your little robot fudge hole. So on uh, on the old uh, Reddit, I saw a man that had an Im Im Imger Imger Imager Imger. Fucking kill me if I can't figure this out. Um, he had a, a nice little gallery of what his house looked like, and I was, to say the very least, jelly, because it looked fucking rad. And what he did was because he's this is technically part of Grey Garden still. He made this his home. That's right, this fucking bus. He took out nothing. Actually, he added a bed and some shit in here, and it looks so fucking cool. And then everything else is on the overpass that he needs, all his workshops and stuff. And since you can add the fast travel marker that you want, um, you know, you can just fast travel to, like, right here, boom, and then just walk into your beautiful, humble abode. And since I have the whole spring cleaning thing, I can get rid of all these nasty little piles of dookie butter that are all over the floor. And clean this place up real savage like. It'll be good looking in no time. Several hours later. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to my favorite settlement location now. I mean I've been I built out on Spectacle Island. I I gave the Boston Airport a try. I was gonna live at uh, Bunker Hill. But I would have to fucking help those stupid synths through the Underground Railroad like fucking Harriet Tubman. Do I look like Harriet Tubman? No, I don't. So I was like, fuck that shit. I'm going to go out to Grey Garden. It's all robots, so I don't have to worry about settlers fucking taking shits in my backyard or anything like that. And, uh, and there's a nice little overpass here that you can build on. Now... I got this glorious idea from a fucking ingenious person on uh, Reddit. So in the description is the inspiration. He basically did the, the same thing. Um, and it all goes to him. It's a fucking fantastic idea, dude. But check this shit out. All right, so first of all, Grey Garden's the same. I haven't done anything down here. I'm going to plant a couple more plants. And I'm going to try to get some uh, Brahmin here. So I can start making some, hey, some wicked sweet jet. An and then... um. I mean, for the most part, I'm just going to put some more lights in here and try to put up some walls to defend this place. Uh, that's basically it. That's all I've done. I've done nothing. I mean, I've added this thing uh, for people like uh, merchants or whatever. They can hang out in there. But here we go. I got a, a staircase that goes up to the overpass. And this is where it gets good. Got a jukebox so I can listen to some melodious tunes while I'm chilling out. Working on my shit. Uh, uh, hold on, it's a little bit dark here. Light switch. Got some overhead lighting. And, uh, got armor workbench, you know, the usual, all the chemistry stuff. Got a little bit something extra there, but that's gonna be next episode, so don't don't you even look at that. Avert your eyes. I have a uh, memento from the glorious Cabot mission. And, uh, and that's about it. I still gotta populate these shelves with some stuff. But here we go, here's the piece de resistance. Yeah, turn out the lights and then walk in and go, Oh, that's what it looks like. I got a mailbox, too. I don't know why I have that. I decided it would be cool to put in here. But this is it. Guy just, he just built a little house inside of a bus. I thought it was the coolest shit since Cool Town. I even got a, for the for the business times, I even I even got a mirror ball. Y you know, you know what I'm saying. When I go get that, that curry and I make her into a person, you know what I'm saying? Bring that bitch back on over to my bus. I don't think she's going to be too excited, though. She's going to be all French and shit. You're making fun of me for living in a fucking Greyhound, but you know what? <laughs> she's my follower. She has to do what I tell her. <laughs> 
anyway, so uh, defenses are pretty light around here. Uh, Spectacle Island actually just got fucking attacked uh, before I was ready to start recording. That, that was exciting. There's a shitload of them. A synth trooper. I've never even heard of those fucking guys. Yo, getting your places attacked is fucking badass, man. Look at all my fucking dudes, man. They're fucking... Even Cricket's in there fucking kicking ass. That is... That was fucking awesome. What we got out here? All the fucking dead bodies. <laughs> Yo, this settler was a synth. Synth component. What a fucking retard. Yeah, so I, I don't think I've ever seen that shit before. Um, besides that, I mean, I built a little staircase up to the tippity dick top. Uh, which, I haven't built anything up here yet, but I'm still kind of trying to get the creative juices of flowing. What was that? What, what's that right there? What is it? What, what happens there? Oh, that's because there was a giant fucking stupid semi-trailer that was right here that I couldn't get rid of, so I... I uh, went through the old console commands and I disabled it. <laughs> it's gone. But I do have like some, like, I guess the, the engine expects it to be there so it doesn't render everything in the distance whenever it's blocking your path. And since technically it's not here anymore, um, it expects it to block my path. So I, I you get those graphical issues. Um, you can only build, I mean, a little bit past that area right there. So... This is all non-buildable area, but there is a nice little extra goody-goody gumdrops up here. There's a crashed vertebird and some power armor. Just trilling out. Just trilling. And I don't know why it's T-45B, you know, because I found some X-01 power armor recently. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain. I think there's something to be said for uh, having a, a house that's, you know, a little bit more uh, central. To the world of, of, fall, of fall Guy, Fall Guy 4. Because Spectacle Island was so detached from the ongoings of the Commonwealth that I felt like I wasn't even really here. You know what I mean? And now that I have a, a nice place that I can just go upstairs and watch a bunch of raiders and ghouls fight each other in this nearby town. I mean, it just kind of adds something, you know what I'm saying? Just, just shoot ghouls out of my fucking window. Look, I shot off his army, sprinting around. That just, that just agitated him so. All right, and so you guys are probably wondering at this point, or, you know, if you're, if you're interested in building a big boy salad house like this, well, I have some tips that I'm sure other people have figured it out because there's like a gorillion people playing this game. But, um, I found something out that. Uh, will help you position things within this house because you can't just place this shit in here. I wish it was that easy. Uh, this doesn't look like a lot of stuff, but the way that you have to place this stuff in here, it fucking took forever until I figured out the uh, the the best way of doing it. All right, so this is how it goes. You can't place this table here on the side because the game only recognizes these black panels as the floor. Really, everything else. Uh, I guess because the walls slope up, it, it, it conflicts with the, the floor plan. It won't let you do it. So what you have to do is you have to trick the game a little bit. Uh, what I did... Um, oh, and also some things don't recognize the floor as the fucking floor. Like, some things want to be placed below it. It's a real pain in the wazoo. Alright, so what I did was I navigated... Uh, don't worry about all the extra shit I have in here. This is all, um... It's all mods. But uh, th everything that I'll show you is, is stuff that you can still use. Alright, so you're going to go to, uh, what's that thing called? You know, like decorations or something? Miscellaneous? No, where's floor coverings? Those are somewhere in here. Decorations, yeah, floor coverings. Okay, so uh, what you're going to do is you're going to get one of these rugs that'll be placed on the floor. Like one of these, this one. I use this one, but I mean, you can use this. I don't, I don't care. Um, any of the rugs that you can that can be placed up here or better yet in here Okay, and then what you do All right, will this one work in here? It has potential to work But you can't place it near the wall. That's the important part is getting stuff away from the walls All right, so what you do is you place it 
so that a leg of it is on top of this rug. And once it's on the rug, you can whip a nay nay that thing all over the place. So then what you... Oh, motherfucker. I did this on the wrong side. This is unfortunate. You can clip with it, though. Hold on. I, th I think we, we have an issue here. We have an issue. Hold on. We need to move this bitch over because we're trying to place it on the on the other wall. Alright. We want to position the rug because the rug still has to be placed in here. But once it's on there, you can clip that bitch wherever the fuck you want. So what you want to do is get as close to the wall as possible. And then now me and Nick can have sleepovers. Nick, you get this bed, you little bitch. And then you just store the rug because you'll use it to build the rest of that stuff. Usually after you get rid of the rug... Whatever you're setting down will sink into the floor, just a, a hair. Uh, this table originally had longer legs than this. It had like mid-century modern legs. Um, and then once it got set down, it, it sunk a little bit. But I think it still looks pretty Gucci Mane. Uh, this originally was three shelves, and now it's only two. Uh, but, you know, what do you got? What do you got to do? So yeah, now, now you can you can place stuff. Uh, I still can't find bedside tables. What the fuck's up with that? I just want bedside tables for my thing. But, you know, eh, Disco Ball's good enough. Disco Ball's good enough. Another thing. You guys might get frustrated with this right here. This fucking turquoise stupid bar. Do not try to disable it in console commands, my friend. Because this bar is not independently placed onto this fucking overpass. That bar is part of the whole overpass. So if you try to delete that bar, it'll delete this entire segment. And then you'll have a giant hole in your game. Been there. Tried that. Did not work out. I'm still trying to... I'm still trying to figure out a way to have uh, supports for underneath my stairs. So it doesn't look like some MC Escher fucking drawing. But, uh... uh what do you gotta do? What do you gotta do? Uh, until I figure that out, I, I, there's going to be floating staircases. Well, it's starting to rain. So, uh, anyways. I, I haven't put up a... Uh... Are you having issues in the rain? He was making weird noises. I haven't put up a uh, settlement beacon yet because I don't believe I'm going to want to have humans around here. Uh, I sent this one guy here so that I could give him a badass sniper. And, uh, and he would be my, my perch. Uh, my sniper guy. But besides that, I don't think I'm going to have any humans here. Once again, besides merchants, I have a little merchant quarter set up. Um, yeah, so, that's it. That's it, man. That's it. Oh, shit. I fucked up my stairs. How did I fuck that up? There we go. Those are treacherous. It's a rainy day outside, and nothing better than to just... Take a nap for a couple hours. You know, sleep it off. Three hours, that's a good nap. Well rested. Look how rested I am. Beautiful. Just beautiful. It's still fucking raining. Fuck.